Welcome to another Curtis is Here Spotlight. My name is Hannah Harreen, and I'm the Associate Director of Recitals and Masterclasses at Curtis. Today, I'm excited to share with you a particular favorite of mine, Chopin's Piano Sonata No. 2 in B-flat minor. First of all, some background. Chopin was a superstar pianist. He gave his first public concert at the age of only eight and performed for Russian Tsar Alexander I when he was 11. Upon entering his 20s, Chopin turned from performing and devoted himself to teaching and composing. It was during this time that he formed close ties with other composers, such as Mendelssohn, Berlioz, and Liszt. Chopin wrote primarily for solo piano and contributed significantly to the instrument's repertoire until he died at the early age of 39. Although his body is buried in Paris, his heart is interred in his native country of Poland. Now for some quick facts. The sonatas comprise of four movements. The third movement, the Funeral March, is the most famous. It was written a year or two before the other movements and was performed not only at Chopin's own funeral, but also at the funerals of John F. Kennedy, Sir Winston Churchill, and Margaret Thatcher. Another composer that utilizes a funeral march in a sonata is Beethoven in his A-flat major sonata, Opus 26. Pianist Anton Rubinstein describes the last movement as the wind howling around the gravestones. And Chopin himself said of the whirlwind movement that the hands are gossiping back and forth to each other in unison. Lastly, some Curtis connections to this piece. Just last month, Curtis student Avery Gagliano won the first prize at the National Chopin Competition. In preparation for this event, she performed this sonata on the Curtis Student Recital Series. We hope you enjoy this performance. We're excited to share it with you.